today we will be working on this CP plus DVR motherboard so we have received this mother motherboard for this USB and Ethernet socket socket replacement you can see I have removed this USB socket from another desktop motherboard so, and this is the CP plus DVR motherboard you can see this is the these are the holes in which this socket fits you can see some have, someone have removed this socket here you can see there are damaging tags so on the other side you can see this electronic mesh there, where there is shielding wire so first of all clean this up we will clean this you can see this is shielding plus low quality shielding plus used here so first of all we will clean this all, all up here I am using PCB cleaner to clean this PCB We have cleaned this here also you can see we have cleaned all the okay. now we will check for shorting in motherboard keep multimeter in deep range ok so this these four points are of usb sockets you can see here in this dvr motherboard there are usually two usb sockets so we will check for shorting in this motherboard so these are two power terminals so there is no any shorting to this power terminals we will check in this power terminals there is no shorting and these two are data terminal data positive and data negative so here also we don't find any kind of shorting now we will check here so one track is missing you can see here this wire must be connected to this point so we will see that in front uh, afterwards so here you can see these two let me remove this ok now here i can see that uh, these two holes are for leds here you can see this LED is connected to these two holes points and this LED is connected to these two points so this 8 points are connected to LAN socket this so there is no shorting in this USB section now we will check for LAN section as you can see here this track is connected to these two terminals then this track is connected to these two terminals this terminal 1 2 3 4 okay. these four lines are from here you can see 1 2 3 4 it means we have only one track cut over here which we have to connect and other tracks are okay but uh, Okay. So let's start by desoldering this excess soldering. Here I am using this desoldering wire to remove excess solder.
Okay, I have removed all the access holder. Okay, so we have all the USB pin connection to this side and top uh, on the top side of this PCB and we have to shoulder all the pins to this bottom side of this PCB so I am going to remove this, this all cut all this track and clean this area because so before that we will clean this USB socket can see we have to remove this all this excess plugs uh, so shoulder Now we are going to clean this Ethernet socket. Now we have removed all the excess soldering from this USB and LAN socket. Let's focus on this. Okay, this track is connected properly. This track is not connected. Before that, we will check this LAN socket. This point. Okay. It is giving beep. Then this point. Okay. It is also giving beep. In this point, okay, and that point is also giving this, then this point. this point, okay. All four points are giving this, so no need to check. We can shoulder this socket directly, but we have problem with this socket because all the points on PCB are on this top side and we have to shoulder this uh, socket to the bottom side. So let's see continuity for that. So let's see first of all this point. this is continuous this is ground point so this must be also continuous let's check for this data positive line no it is shorted with ground so we have to take a jumper by from this let's check for this data negative pin okay we can shoulder this pin because it is giving pin this is vcc pin of pen drive the pen, uh, pen drive or usb mouse gets by volt supply from this terminal okay so now we have problem with this pin only this is data positive pin which is not pen.
okay this pin also is giving beep so we can connect this first usb socket properly let's check for this socket so here we have track cut here also we have that problem let's check for this data positive pin no there is no supply let's check for this data negative pin okay this is continuous so this is the pin this is the